Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I'm making another video because my record collection has grown so much, especially in the last couple months. I thought I'd just go ahead and make a video of all of my records. Um, I'll probably be doing some unboxings next week. Hopefully, if they get here on time. But for now, I'm just going to do like a video about with my whole collection. And this is going to be a long video, so I'm probably going to split it up into like two parts. I'm going to show you my color ones first, and then I'm doing another video with just the standard black ones. That way it won't be as long as it could be. So the first one I'm going to start out with is my Beach Boys album. Um, really, I got it from my mom because she's a big Beach Boys fan. And it has all of their biggest hits. And it's on this lovely, lovely, it's orange pressing. It's like a um, orange marble pressing. It's really cool. Um, my favorite songs are on here are probably California Girls, I Get Around, Surfing USA. Um, just the biggest, let's see. Um, yeah, and Help Me Ronald is probably my favorite ones off of this one. Um, the next one I have is Casey Musgraves, Golden Hour, but it's a picture disc. I won't take it out of its thing. But it's a, oh, so beautiful picture disc. It I think it plays very well, but it's so beautiful. And then the next one I have is Selena Gomez's Rare album. I thought this was her best album. Um, I don't know why, why some people didn't like it, but I really enjoyed this album. Um, I like the songs Rare, Dance Again, I Cut You Off, Feel Me. Um, vulnerable. And it's the Target exclusive, so it was on this beautiful, beautiful red translucent pressing. But yeah, I really did enjoy the album more than I thought I would, to be honest. Um, I don't know why some people didn't like it. I thought it was pretty good. I just think it got kind of got lost in the shuffle with all the albums that came out, the great albums that came out last year. Maybe that's why people didn't like it as much. And then we have an uh, artist called Bloom. Um, I don't really know much about them. This is more like an EP. I got to do my vinyl subscription. And I've played it and it's pretty good. I don't think it's exactly my taste. But it's on this beautiful red pressing. And it has like a little flower in it. So I like it. Um, so far it's, it's okay. It's not something I play often. But it's a beautiful record. So there's that. Da, 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 da. Don't really know much about them, but songs I enjoy on here are Better Way, Emotion, and Falling Faster. Uh, next we have another one. Well, I was so happy to get this in my vinyl description because I love Neck Deep, and it's the Neck Deep All Distortions Are Intentional album. And I really was so, when I saw this, when I got this in my vinyl subscription, I was so excited because I love this band. And I've only just gotten to them recently, but I love them. And it's on a beautiful opaque orange vinyl. Love it. Couldn't believe I got this in my subscription thing. I was so, so happy to get it. My favorite song on here is probably Songland. Um, that's probably my favorite song on this whole thing. It's Sonderland, in my bed. Um, next we have another picture disc, and it's, um, well, it came with multiple, but I have the other one hanging up. It's the Nightmare Before uh, Christmas soundtrack, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it did come with another one, but I got the one with zero hanging up, so I don't feel like getting that off the wall. And then we have my Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction vinyl, because I love Guns N' Roses. And it's got Welcome to the Jungle on it, uh, Night Train, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City. Ugh, I love this album. I also have another one of their albums. It's The Greatest Hits, which has all their biggest hits, but I love this album. And it's on a red translucent pressing as well. Honestly, um... I probably could get more of, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get more of the records soon, so, we'll see. But for now, I'm happy with this one and the greatest hits one that I got, which I'll show you soon. Um, next we got, we got two more pictures, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it. It's, um, Purple Rain by Prince and Thriller by Michael Jackson. Um, I don't really play these that often, I do more just to decoration. I have, um, so I got these in my collection. 
because they're my two of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, next we have the Reba. Um, again, I got a rumor has it vinyl. I got this from my mother, uh, because she loves Reba. She's a big Reba McIntyre fan, and it has the song "Fancy" on it, acoustically and recordingly. And it go the vinyl goes well with this. It's the Walmart exclusive, which it sold out really quickly. Um, the orange, it's kind of orange, translucent, opaque, I would say, vinyl. But it's beautiful. It definitely goes with the album cover. And I'm glad that I found it from my mother. Because she was disappointed when we went to Walmart. We went to a lot of them here and they were all sold out here. So, nice to see her happy with this. And the next one I have is uh, Chain Smokers. Memories do not open. Um, they said it's a gold vinyl, and it's more like a translucent orange to me. But um, I'm not even a big chain smokers fan. Uh, this was kind of just gifted to me, so yeah. They say gold, but I guess it can be gold in the light. It kind of looks orange to me. But you know, I do like the song something like this. Break up every night, bloodstream, honest and young. I'm not the biggest of the fans, but I do like this record. Uh, next we have up is my Young Blood vinyl, which I just got in the mail. So excited. Wasn't really a big fan of his at first, but I love this record and I enjoy his music a lot more now. So I, I think this is the standing person for this album. I know there's some clear ones, but it's one of his beautiful white vinyl, and I really, really, really love it. Okay. Beautiful. And also, there isn't a really a song on here I don't like, but I do like Cotton Candy a lot. Um, I like Cotton Candy, Strawberry Lipstick, The Freak Show, and Charity. Weird, I kind of enjoy, but not too much, but those are the main songs I really do like. And next I have up is my Luke Bryan Greatest Hits Volume 1. Um, I like Luke Bryan, but I don't like him enough to buy his vinyl, so I just bought the one with the biggest hits that I love. And it's on this root beer colored brownish, well, root beer brown vinyl, and I think it's really pretty. I do tend to favor, like, browns a lot more than some of brighter colors. I don't know. I'm, always, I'm, I'm weird. So I've always liked brown. I think it's one of my favorite colors for some reason. But I'm just weird that way. So I like the color brown ones. And the next one I have up is I just got this from the local workshop. It's the new Weezer album. Oh, I love all. I love these songs on this album. I love all my favorite songs. Uh, Grapes of Wrath, Numbers, Mirror Image. I think it's one of their best records today. But that's just my opinion. And it's on this beautiful Control Room Chaos Splatter vinyl, and it's, it's just absolutely, it just reminds me of, like, confetti, and it's so gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love this record. The next album I have is Blink-182 Greatest Hits. I picked this up at Target. It's Target exclusive because I love Blink-182 and I'm slowly trying to get all their albums. Right now I just got this one and um, Nine, which I feel like Nine's underrated. I know it's their newest, but I feel like it's underrated. Now this is a double LP and it's on two different color vinyls, which was lovely. It's this one, one of the LPs is on this little marble lime green and I just think it's so beautiful. And then the next LP, um, I'm going to have to try and get these in there. The next LP is on this lovely, lovely ice blue marble vinyl, and it's just great. And it has some of my favorite songs on here, like I Miss You, um, all the small things. Just basically their greatest hits. But overall, happy with this purchase, happy with the way the vinyls turned out, absolutely love this record. Um, the next record I have is my Taylor Swift folklore. Um, when this first came out, it was really surprised to me, and I didn't think I would love this album as much as I did, but I, it was probably my most played album of all of 2020 and 2021. I think it's her best work, and 
then it comes on this like lovely tan vinyl, which I thought was unique. I know there's eight different versions of uh, folklore, but this is the one I wanted because I felt like it was the most unique. And there's, I don't have a favorite song on this record because they're all so good. And it was just be beautifully well written. And I think this will probably go down as one of her greatest albums ever. That's just my opinion. Um, then we have Five Seconds of Summer's Calm. I do have another copy of this. Um, this is the Target exclusive. And it's on the blue, blue translucent. It is gorgeous. Love me some blue vinyls. Um, but yeah, I really, I don't know why I bought both copies. Because there's a blue one and a pink version. But I don't like this album cover. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like it. I guess that's, maybe that's why I bought the pink version too. Because I like that album cover cover more than this one. And then we have Imagine Dragons Evolve album. I really, really love this album. I don't know why. I don't think it's their best album, but I love it. No matter what. Um, I like Whatever It Takes, Believer, Walk in the Wire, Rise Up. Pretty much the first, like, eight songs. Um, and it's on this beautiful, beautiful translucent green vinyl. Again, I get most of, them of these pressings from Target, which Target does some amazing color pressings. So if you were looking at the some color pressings, Target is the place. Um, I get most of them from there and my local record store. Uh, next, we also have another Target pressing. is the Go-Go's Greatest Hits because I grew up on the E's and 90's music and the Go-Go's were just amazing. Um, I love Our Lips Are Sealed. We got the beat, obviously, Vacation. Beat Neck Beach, Lust to Love, some of my favorites. And this is on this beautiful, beautiful seagrass green. It's kind of light. Kind of like a light greenish blue. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Get it in there. And then next we have my Ashton Ernst. Ashton or Irwin Super Bloom. I really didn't like this album at first. It took me multiple listens to. Well, it really took me hearing it live to actually connect with the album. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and get this. And it is on this. I, I love the cover. It looks so cool. I don't know how to describe this. Like a mint green. Like, it's kind of translucent, but it's kind of not. It really goes really well with this. I was worried it was going to be a glow in the dark vinyl because those glow in the dark vinyls are a pain in the butt to just deal with. But yeah, overall, happy with this album. I love the song Sunshine, The Sweetness, I'm to Blame, and Dry. Next, we have another Taylor Swift album, and it's probably my favorite Taylor, Taylor Swift vinyl. Uh, I do like as album, but Folklore is my favorite album. But it is the Reputation album love this album but more importantly love love that she chose to go with picture news for this album it is absolutely just stunning i think it's one of my favorite picture discs i own it just honestly it just goes so well the aesthetic of the album oh and it's a double lp so there's two so i'll just show you this one um and I pretty much like the songs Ready For It, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, um, Endgame, and New Year's Day is probably my favorite, honestly. New Year's Day is just ultimately one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard. Next up we have my Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes self-titled um, album. Um, I'm pretty much, this is probably my favorite album of Sean's, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably the best one he's done so far. And then when I saw this on Mark Hardy, I knew I had to get it, because it's on this lovely, uh, maroonish purple vinyl, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I had to get it. Um, I could have gotten the standard black one, but I saw this on Mark Hardy and decided, why not? Why not pick it up? Um, <laughs> Theme with Shawn Mendes is the new his newest album Wonder, which you know I like this album, but it doesn't like I don't connect with it as much as the self titled one. And it's the Target exclusive, so it's on this beautiful gold vinyl, which is my gold is my favorite color because I love gold. 
Uh, next we have up is the Britney, Spore Britney Spears, my bad, uh, re remixes. I picked this up at uh, Record Store Day, and it's just got, like, the re-releases and the B-sides of her biggest hits. Like, Oops, I Did It Again, Lucky, and Stronger. And it's on this beautiful blue, blue clear marble bottle. It is absolutely gorgeous. But, you know. And this was my first record store day I participated in last year. And I pretty much got some good ones that I wanted. So I was really happy about that. Um, the next record I have, if you haven't heard of them, is Black Pumas. Oh my god, I saw them at the Grammys perform, and they were just absolutely phenomenal. So I knew I had to go get their album, and it's amazing. Let me tell you, for a debut album, this is one of my favorites. Uh, Black Moon Rising Colors, Know You Better, uh, Fire, Ugh, honestly, just a straight great album. Uh, the first LP is pressed on this lovely Go Vinyl. Like I love, but the second one is kind of like a smash vinyl. You think it's just a black record on this side, but you turn around and it's got red in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely, I'm not afraid. Definitely a very beautiful person. Um, next I have up is the metal is the Metallica album because I love I love rock and I love heavy metal and I just knew I had to have this one. Ironically, the black album that contains Enter Sandman's Sad But True, this is not a black vinyl. It is on a, if you can see it in like brownish marble coloring. And it's, I, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite pressings um, by Metallica. Um, next I have is a band called The Dangerous Summer. Recently gotten into them because of all time low. They're on the same record label. And honestly, they are just a really good band. Um, this is War Paint. And it's on this beautiful, beautiful, um, coat green pink splatter vinyl. I don't know if you can see the pink, but it is a splatter vinyl. And it's absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite pressings. I do tend to feel like the smaller record labels have some of the best pressings, but that's just my opinion. Um, the next record I have is the Billie Eilish, uh, Live from Third Man Records, Record Store Day exclusive vinyl. Um, it's nice to have live music, especially when we're going through a pandemic and we don't have live music, so I can just play this and I feel like I'm there. And again, it's on this lovely blue pressing of a vinyl. The next album I have is Blink 182's Greatest Hits. I picked this up at Target. It's Target exclusive because I love Blink 182 and I'm slowly trying to get all their albums. Right now I just got this one and um, Nine, which I feel like Nine's underrated. I know it's their newest, but I feel like it's underrated. Now this is a double LP and it's on two different color vinyls, which was lovely. It's just one, one of the LPs is on this little marble lime green and I just think it's so beautiful. And then the next LP. Um, I'm gonna have to try and get these in there. The next LP is on this lovely, lovely ice blue marble vinyl, and it's just great. And it has some of my favorite songs on here, like "I Miss You," um, all the small things. Just basically, they're great too. But overall, happy with this purchase, happy with the way the vinyls turned out. Absolutely love this record. Um, the next record I have is my Taylor Swift folklore. Um, when this first came out, it was really surprised to me, and I didn't think I would love this album as much as I did, but I it was probably my most played album of all of 2020 and 2021. I think it's her best work, and it comes on this like lovely tan. Vinyl, which I thought was unique. I know there's eight different versions of uh, folklore, but this is the one I wanted because I felt like it was the most unique. And there's, n I don't have a favorite song on this record because they're all so good. And it was just be beautifully well written, and I think this will probably go down as one of her greatest albums ever. That's just my opinion. Um, then we have Five Seconds of Summer's Calm. I do have another copy of this. Um, this is the Target exclusive. And it's on the blue, blue translucent. It is gorgeous. Love me some blue vinyls. Um, but yeah, I really, 
I don't know why I bought both copies because there's a blue one and a pink version, but I don't like this album cover. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like it. I guess that's, maybe that's why I bought the pink version too because I like that album cover, co cover more than this one. And then we have Imagine Dragons Evolve album. I really, really love this album. I don't know why. I don't think it's their best album, but I love it. No matter what. Um, I like Whatever It Takes, Believer, Walk in the Wire, Rise Up. Pretty much the first, like, eight songs. Um, and it's on this beautiful, beautiful translucent green vinyl. Again, I get most of, them of these pressings from Target, which Target does some amazing color pressings. So if you were looking at the some color pressings, Target is the place. Um, I get most of them from there and my local record store. Uh, next, we also have another Target pressing is the Go-Go's Greatest Hits because I grew up on the 80s and 90s music and the Go-Go's were just amazing. Um, I love Our Lips Are Sealed. We got the beat, obviously, Vacation. Beat Neck Beach, Lust to Love, some of my favorites. And this is on this beautiful, beautiful seagrass green. It's kind of light. Kind of like a light greenish blue. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Get it in there. And then next we have my Ashton Ernst. Ashton or Irwin Super Bloom. I really didn't like this album at first. It took me multiple listens to. Well, it really took me hearing it live to actually connect with the album. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and get this. And it is on this. I, I love the cover. It looks so cool. I don't know how to describe this. Like a mint green. Like, it's kind of translucent, but it's kind of not. It really goes really well with this. I was worried it was going to be a glow in the dark vinyl because those glow in the dark vinyls are a pain in the butt to just deal with. But yeah, overall, happy with this album. I love the song Sunshine, The Sweetness, I'm to Blame, and Dry. Next, we have another Taylor Swift album, and it's probably my favorite Taylor, Taylor Swift vinyl. Uh, I do like as album, but Folklore is my favorite album. But it is the Reputation album love this album but more importantly love love that she chose to go with picture news for this album it is absolutely just stunning i think it's one of my favorite picture discs i own it just honestly it just goes so well the aesthetic of the album oh and it's a double lp so there's two so i'll just show you this one um and I pretty much like the songs Ready For It, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, um, Endgame, and New Year's Day is probably my favorite, honestly. New Year's Day is just ultimately one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard. Uh, the next record I have is Khalid's Free Spirit. Uh, I like but I feel like this album was not as good as American Teen, which I don't even have American Teen, which I really want, but it's still a good record overall, and it's pressed on a lovely, lovely, lovely orange vinyl. Uh, next we have up is my Elton John album. I got this at Record Store Day last year, and it is pressed on a lovely, lovely purple, reddish, it's purple vinyl. And who doesn't love Elton John? Let's be honest. Because he is just an amazing artist. I knew I had to pick this up when I saw it at Record Store Day. Um, the next record I have is Coldplay's uh, Kaleidoscope EP. Um, it's just got a couple songs on it. All I can think about is you, Aliens. Um, and it's pressed on this lovely, lovely blue teal vinyl. And it is gorgeous. Um, the next record I have is the Eric Church Carolina vinyl. Love Eric Church. And... It's kind of weird to see him without the sunglasses. I'm hoping they get cheap soon. Uh, and it's pressed on a lovely, lovely, well, beautiful yellow translucent vinyl. So glad to found this record because I feel like this one's hard to find for me in my area. Um, next, we have the Ed Sheeran Plus album, my favorite. 
This is probably my favorite Ed Sheeran album. It's not that I don't like the others. I just feel like I connected with this one more. Yeah. Um, and it's, of course, why wouldn't it be orange? I do tend to have a lot of orange vinyls for some reason. But this one definitely goes with the album cover. Um, next I have up is Fall Out Boy's uh, American Psycho American Beauty album. And it is pressed on a lovely, lovely lovely i say lovely too much i'm sorry a beautiful icy blue vinyl knew i had to have it love ball out boy love this record um next i probably showed you show this with my other sean mendes one but it's sean mendes handwritten i picked this up at barnes and noble um just because i want to complete i could i have to complete my sean mendes collection and it is beautiful first on blue vinyl but yeah, overall, I'm trying to collect all my Shawn Mendes stuff, so there's that. And then, um, Beat Connection, I got this from my vinyl subscription service. Um, don't really know much about them, but I don't really listen to it, but it is pressed on a lovely blue vinyl. I have a lot of blue vinyls. I'm trying to be diverse in my color vinyls, but I get a lot of blue vinyls. Because why not? Blue is just a beautiful color. that in for some reason but well next i have up is the halsey um balance album and i just love this record castle hold me down oh her voice is so amazing on this record and it's on my beautiful bubblegum pink vinyl love it love halsey love this color love this record uh, next I have up, I picked this up at the record store day this year, and it's the Austin Powers Gold Member soundtrack, um, because Gold Member is my favorite one out of all three movies, because it's got Beyonce in it. Um, just love this soundtrack, to be honest. Rolling Stones, Britney Spears, Beyonce, can't really go wrong with this record. And it is a beautiful gold final, because it's Gold Member. Do, 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 do. And next we have up is Clearance Clearwater Revival. Kind of picked this up from my mother. Um, so I'm not really big on them, but it is pressed on a marble green vinyl and it's gorgeous. Next we have Kendrick Lamar's Damn album because it's a damn, fun, damn good one, in my opinion. I think this is my favorite one. Uh, besides the Pimp a Butterfly or Mad City. Honestly, he just makes good damn records, to be honest. I don't think there's really one I don't like. Um, I like Songs Blood, DNA, Humble. Really do like God. I don't know why for some reason I just like that one. And it, it's a Target exclusive, and it's on this beautiful, beautiful four screen album record. Uh, I think it's probably my favorite green out of all of them, to be honest. Um, and I do have kind of quite a few green records. Um, my, and then my next record I have is Haley Williams' Pedal for Armor. I wasn't really sure how she was going to do solo, but this album really changed that for me. It's such a beautiful record. Simmer, Cinnamon, Pure Love, Taken, Sugar on the Rim. And now I've got to digest the fact that she put on another album, so we'll see how that goes. And it's on this Urban Outdoor exclusive pink vinyl, kind of like a blush pink. But yeah, I was really surprised how well, how great this record was when I first listened to it. It's still a really, really good record. Um, the next record I have is the Run the Jewels album, because why not? Plus, Run the Jewels, this is my favorite Run the Jewels album, because they're just amazing. And it's just, this is just a work of work, to be honest. I love the game for like this. Um, honestly, there's not a single song on here that I don't like, so... Pretty much, I love this whole album. Front to back, side to side, and it's on a magenta pink, which of course goes really well with the pink album. But overall, if you haven't heard this album, Run the Jewels 4, I would highly recommend you go out and buy it because it's a pr it's a damn good record, in my opinion. Um, next we have up is the Star Joe Simpson Cutting Grass Volume 2. I have Volume 1, but I'll probably show that in the next, um video i'm gonna record for next week and it this actually goes in dark and it's pretty badass and this is on a beautiful 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 blue 
with white marble in it, and it's gorgeous. Loving me some sur surgical season lately. The fact that I'm glad they chose to cover glow in the dark instead of the vinyl, because like I said, vinyls that glow in the dark are a pain in the butt. Next one I have pick up is a pretty reckless. I recently got into the music, and this album is just phenomenal. It is just breathtakingly beautiful. Death by Rock and Roll is just one is one of my favorite songs on this album. It's a it's I think it's probably the very fitting to name this Death by Rock and Roll. And it's gorgeous. I'm not gonna show the inside because I cannot show you the inside of this album. But I will show you that it was a limited edition. It was only done made fifteen hundred copies, silver vinyl and it's gorgeous gorgeous like the song on this record I highly recommend people check out this band they're really really good um the next record i have is beyonce's lemonade album and it's it's literally my favorite beyonce album because it's a work of art literally that's what this is um and it is on a gorgeous yellow vinyl because what other color would jam name lemonade be? But definitely, definitely my favorite Beyonce record. Probably should have gotten out, but probably should have gotten out of the year over Adele, but that's just my opinion. Um, next we have is the Rolling Stones Mo Rolling Stones Metamorphosis album. Picked this up at Record Store Day, and because I love the Stones, I love them, and it's pressed on like a dark green vinyl. Can never have too many Rolling Stones records. Um, next I have my copy of Amy Winehouse's Back to Black album. Oh, uh, such a shame she's no longer with us, but this is such a good album. Such an amazing album. And it's pressed on pink vinyl. Get it in here. Sometimes they can be hard to get back in. I hate when I have to put them in there. Like, it's easy to get them out, but when I put them back in there, it's a pain in the ass. So I don't want to damage the vinyl. Um, next we have Taylor Swift is Lover. It's a double LP. One of them is pink, so and I've showed you plenty of pink, so I'm not going to show you that one. But the teal one is really, really pretty. I really feel like Lover's underappreciated because she dropped Folklore and Evermore back to back. But this is a pretty damn good album, I think. I love the fact that it's pink and blue and it's not too different from what she's done, but love the same. Then we have All Time Low Future Hearts record. Oh, I love this record. Love this band. One of my favorite pop punk bands. And it is on a beautiful, beautiful, I think it's very unique. Slatter split vinyl. Um, I love. I pretty much just love all the songs on this record, to be honest. Oh, if I can get it back in here. Uh, next we have this Billie Eilish. Uh, don't. Uh, EP. Kind of like her. Kind of like her debut. I'm gonna say. Um, it's more like EP, really. Uh, cause it, uh, it's and it's on a beautiful red vinyl. And then we have my Dolly Parton. 16 biggest hits. Obviously, John Lee, 9 to 5. I Will Always Love You. And it is on a beautiful purple vinyl. So I'm going to say that's it for this video. Um, I know it's going to be too long by the time this comes out. So I'm going to record part 2 maybe sometime next week. Of the color vinyl, and again, if you like, which if you like um, this video, be sure to subscribe and like at the bottom. Thank you.